Imagine a future, the freight trucks that deliver bread and milk to our grocery store shelves, and the buses that take children to school and, and parents to work. Imagine all the heavy-duty vehicles that keep our supply lines strong and allow our economy to grow. Imagine that they produced zero emissions. Well, you all imagined it. That's why we're here today, because we have the ability to see what can be unburdened by what has been, and then to make the possible actually happen. So today, I am proud to announce that our administration is taking steps to build that better future by transforming our nation's fleet of buses and trucks. And that transformation will begin with public buses. This year, our Department of Transportation will make available nearly 1.5 billion, yes, Administrator Regan, with a B, <laughs> in grants to help cities and towns electrify their fleet of public buses, build infrastructure to support their fleet, and train workers to run it. These grants will make public transit more reliable and more affordable, which of course means shorter waits and more reliable commutes for folks who need to take public transit to get where they need to go. These buses will be built in America, and these grants will also be used to train drivers and mechanics to operate, maintain, and repair this new technology. This investment will create good jobs, jobs of the future. And we are not stopping there. Through our Department of Transportation today, we are also allocating $2.2 billion in funding from the American Rescue Plan, thank you, Congress, to 35 transit agencies spread across 18 states. This funding will help communities employ more transit workers and keep transit services running. In addition, as Administrator Regan shared, today our EPA is issuing a proposed rule that will significantly, significantly reduce dangerous emissions from all new heavy-duty trucks and buses. And again, as the administrator shared, we are also announcing funding for, yes, one of my favorite topics, electric school buses. Today, $17 million in grants will complement the $5 billion for clean school buses that we secured Thank you again in the bipartisan infrastructure law. Our transportation sector has reached a turning point. We are all in the midst of a turning point. We have the technology to transition to a zero emission fleet. Our administration together, all of us, is working to make that possibility a reality.